Okay, yeah, thank you for the introduction. So today I'm going to talk about my work to appear, uh, hopefully in the archive soon, uh, with uh, two postdocs, me, Ashmin Kumar at IPMU and uh, Junichi Sakamoto. So what is the problem today? Oh, okay, it's got stuck. Uh, yeah, okay, so what is the problem? So uh, today I'm going to discuss the new approach to integral models, uh, beer, uh, four dimensional version of the John Simon theory, so called. So what is it? Well, it's some quantum field theory. And it's defined on the product manifold of the form sigma times c, two manifold times two manifold. And on the sigma side, we're going to get integral models. On the c side, we are the complex curve, and it plays a role of the spectral curve of the integral models. And the four-dimensional theory is defined by uh, reaching the form of Sean Simon's three form together with the form of his one form, which is a one form uh, on the spectral curve c. Now, why is this theory useful for understanding quantum field theory? Sorry, integral uh, uh, field theories. Oh, okay, perhaps uh, if you could click there, it's gonna be appreciated. Uh, but I, or, or, or I can make it smaller. Anyway, so uh, so let's see, I can make it smaller. <laughs> yeah, so so I have the, let's see, so what does it mean? Well, let's see, so I have a four-dimensional chan Simon theory, and that itself is just a four-dimensional theory, but let it couple two-dimensional defects. So the two-dimensional defects fitting the uh, sigma direction, which is like a point like in C, and we include, include many, many surface defects. Now, uh, so this is the two, two dimensional theory coupled to four dimensions, but you can integrate out the theory along this uh, direction of the spectral curve to get some two dimensional theory, effective theory. And it turns out that this, there is a general guarantee that, that uh, if you start some four dimensional equational motion of the four dimensional gauge field, uh, that's translated into the Lux connection, uh, the flatness of the flatness equation for the Lux connection, which implies uh, the infinite many conserved charges and hence integrable. At least it's some definition of integrability. So there is a general guarantee that the resulting two-dimensional field theory is integrable. And this gives a very systematic approach to integrable quantum field theories. Now, uh, so this is a, a simplest example of that. So here I have included two defects. And each of the defects, it's a very simple defect, just a free fermion, no interaction so far. And except that it couples to the uh, different components of the gauge field, W and W bar. And, and these are just uh, free theories, and they don't talk with each other. But there's a mediator, which is the four-dimensional gauge field, which is represented by this Feynman diagram. And if you integrate out the, uh, the gauge field, what it means that it generates the interaction between the currents, which is the whole Fermi interactions. So that's how you get the uh, massless steering model, which is known to be an integrable from the field theory. So it starts with the, just the simplest uh, free field theory, integrate, integrate things out, and then uh, you get the uh, integrable field theory. So this is the general framework. Now, there are two questions I want to ask in this talk. The one is, the first question is that, how to discretize these integrable quantum field theories? Well, of course you can discretize in a random way, but then the integrability is broken. And, and of course the other direction is also interesting. If you start with the integrable lattice model and then take the sum of the limit, what is the integrable uh, quantum field theory yeah, and in the IR? So that's a very typical problem. In fact, it's one of the historical motivation for integral models dating back decades ago. Now, what is the question two? Well, question two is that uh, integrable quantum field series, they are known to have many dualities. For example, the, pro the prototypical example is a Tilling model, DO2, uh, with the Minovite model. And how to describe these dualities between integrable quantum field series in the four-dimensional chance Simons framework? And it turns out these two questions are closely related. So the question to answer one is actually extremely simple. So how do you discretize? Well, instead of starting at the effective two-dimensional theory, I'm going to just look at everything in terms of four-dimensional description where there is a coupling to two-dimensional defects. So this is the picture I had before. Now, what you do is that you're going to discretize each of the two-dimensional theory into one-dimensional uh, line, line into one-dimensional defect. And these series are simple, like a free fermions, et cetera. So you can easily discretize. To make things a little bit more concrete, uh, this is almost uh, uh, the simplest example. So it's a free fermion again. And, and the important thing is that it's a chiral fermion, which means that there's a derivative, but only in the W direction, but no derivative in the W bar direction, which is a complex conjugate. So you can easily discretize, and, and the same for uh, in, in the transverse direction where there is no derivative. Uh, you can also do the same for anti-chiral defects, but in that case, there is a derivative is in the other direction, so you're going to discretize an orthogonal direction. And in the end result is that you're going to have a lattice uh, in the orthogonal direction. Uh, which is the light cone discretization. And in, that, in fact, this type of light cone discretization was discussed in the literature, uh, uh, in particular by this in the Vega in the many decades ago. Uh, but our pro what we discuss now is actually much more general, and we can also discuss multiple defects 
Uh, in those cases, we are going to have more complicated uh, lattice uh, with inhomogeneities. Now, uh, okay, so then, it, of course, we're going to get something, but then what do we get after the discretization? Well, uh, first of all, one comment is that you can also discretize various different things. Uh, here, I discretize the free premium, a uh, chiral free premium, but you can, for example, discretize the beta gamma defect, which is like a botonic version of the fermion, but with a very similar coupling. You can also discretize uh, what I call the cojoint orbit defect, where G is the uh, group element, et cetera, et cetera. There are many defects you can discretize. And it turns out that after discretization, in most cases, actually the all of them are destroyed by uh, the so-called Wilson lines, which is another object in the four-dimensional Chan Simon series. It's just the exponential of the gauge field. And, and there is a reason for that. In order, whatever these are, it generates the Hilbert space with the action of the gauge group G, because it taps to the four-dimensional gauge field. And, and then there's a general mathematical theorem um, and, uh, which says that this can be translated for the Wilson lines. And what we have shown in my previous paper with Costello and Witten is that if, one has, if you have these Wilson lines in the four-dimensional Chan Simon series, it generates the standard spin chain described by Yang Yang and their cousins. So in the end, um, more, many of these defects that just generates the standard spin chains. And in fact, this is actually interesting because there is a, there is a huge redundancy in the quantum field series side. Because many, there are many different defects, but it turns out that in many cases, they are turned into the same Wilson line, which means that they are equivalent. And these are just a single defect, but the beauty is that now once, once you understand the relation between different defects, you can have multiple defects so that you can derive the dualities between uh, different series. And in fact, this is a very general theme. And once you realize that uh, the four-dimensional chance is useful for understanding the dualities, you can try to describe the dualities more systematically. And this was the question number two, and that also has a very simple interpretation uh, answer. So the question was how to interpret the dualities among the quantum field series. Well, the answer is that again, you realize everything in terms of the 2D defect, and then discuss the duality at the level of the surface defect. And, and so in this picture, it, there is a one duality, C duality, which is represented by a uh, black and uh, uh, red and uh, dotted, sorry, colored and uncolored vertices. And uh, so these two defects themselves are equivalent. And here, for example, I have an example where you have one color and anti color defects, et cetera, but each of these defects can be traded because each of the individual surface defects is dual. And, and it can generate a zoo of new dualities. Uh, so the point is that if you start with this duality, which I call the C duality, you can generate a zoo of dualities. If you have multiple K defects, they are essentially two to the power K, different duality frames, describing the same physics. And, and okay, so what is the basic uh, input for this uh, uh, theory? Well, the simplest example is this uh, bosonization. So uh, you, in this description, you start with just a free fermion again. And uh, here you have the left movers, light movers both, but it just couples to one of the components. Uh, let's see, the light mover or left mover, one of them. And, and that is known to dual to uh, with the Mino-Witten model. And, and corresponding to this uh, coupling to the gauge field, there is a corresponding coupling where J is the G inverse G. Inverse G. Uh, G inverse derivative G, so this is the corresponding current. So this is the duality between two-dimensional quantum field series. Now, the idea is to use this as a C duality. So these are dual, and each of the defects can be traded has two different descriptions. Now you can have many such defects, and which means that if there are K such defects, they are two to the power K different descriptions, and all of these should be the same, uh, describe the same physics. And hence you have a zoo of uh, new dualities. And so this is, uh, I already said that, but this is a graphical representation of that. So this is a one particular example of the C duality uh, between peripherons and with the, with the model, and it's known to be bosonized. And it's a pure 2D duality, but the idea is to couple it to four-dimensional channel Simon theory, and we have increased some multiple such defects. Now, what type of theories we get? Well, here, it's a free fermion defect, and uh, you might remember that in several slides we got back, I explained that if you start with free fermion defects, I'm going to get a massless steering type model. Now, that, in that case, you have one defect, one, one defect, one chiro, one anti chiro, but you can have multiple such defects, and you're going to get a complicated steering type model with a lot of um, several components interacting with each other. And then there is a counterpart of that, bosonic counterpart of that, which is the Western Middle model, uh, with some with the model, but now they again inter interact with each other. Several multiple defects, multiple copies of WZ type model, uh, but then you, there are non trivial interaction terms. And despite that, the fact that it's still integrable, 
And uh, so it, it, the fact that it, each of these models is integral by itself is already interesting, but uh, you can find a new personalization. And, and this is not just the one personalization, but uh, we have uh, 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 a zoo of personalizations because, uh, uh, because as I said, you can have multiple, uh, include, include multiple defects. Okay, so this is the, what I wanted to say. Uh, so this is a summary. Um, well, okay, so what are the statements? So I discussed the two issues in, in the uh, quantum series, series uh, integrable quantum field series, and how to realize them from four-dimensional John Simon theory. Now, one thing I discussed is the issue of the discretization, how to discretize integral quantum field theory into lattice models and, and go, going backwards. If you start with the lattice model and then go, go to back to integral quantum field theory, but some of them limit. And, and in this approach, uh, you, you realize everything in terms of defects, which are 2D defects, and you go to discretize into one dimensional defect, and uh, which you can turn into Wilson line. And, and then hence it's collected to uh, standard uh, spin chains. Now, uh, there is another thing we discussed, uh, which is the duality among the two-dimensional quantum field series. And, and you, you, the, what I said is that you can use that, start that, and then generate a huge web of two-dimensional dualities among uh, integral quantum field series. So I think this is an example where, uh, if it shows the power of the four-dimensional Chan Simons approach to integral models, and, uh, uh, and, and I'm currently working on some uh, more examples and uh, consequences. And hopefully the paper will appear. Thank you. All right, so thank you very much for the nice talk. So it's now time for questions and comments uh, from the audience. Yeah, yes, please. Oh, let's see. Well, that's a, that's a difficult. Well, partly because, uh, yeah, I mean, let's see. So part of the reason that you, things can be solvable in the in two dimensions is that uh, there is a subtlety in the this a Coleman Mandula type theorem. So yeah, so if you have their conserved charges, uh, for example, their monster the statement, if you have a conserved higher ch conserved charge with highest it's a pair of conserved charges or something like that. And you can show that uh, if the system is gapped, et cetera, the S matrix is trivial, for example. And, and there are some well-known counter examples of that, like a 4D n equal 4 by mills and the large n. That, in that case, it's kind of free with the large n expansion, et cetera. So partly because of that, uh, yeah, of course, the concept of the uh, three-dimensional integrability itself is, uh, especially in quantum field theory, is a subtle topic. But nevertheless, of course, uh, there are tetrahedron equations and things like that, uh, which people have found. And, uh, and, and one thing I can say is that uh, some of the solutions that the tetrahedral equation found by Zamorol uh, that has a nice connection to, uh, to the chiral pots model and, and in the layers, et cetera. And those models you can realize from some different ways from quantum field theory. I have a different line of argument coming from string series and et cetera, realizing chiral pots model as a root limit, root of unity limit of some different integral model, for example. And, and in that framework, you can accommodate that, uh, find as at least some aspect of that. And so whether that type of story, yeah, there are some arguments relating that type of story to here, uh, but uh, but it's a different type of constructions, I would say, yes. So any other questions? We have only one minute. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Like you have just Yes. 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 Yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So in that case, there in general, for example, here in this case, uh, well, the colored ones are supposed to be the chiral ones, three chirals and three anti chiral for example, and then there's three chirals. So which means that whenever there's a one of the lines, there are three chirals. And, and this is represented by here, et cetera. But the interesting point is that now there are ambiguities in how to position, right? So they are permute, permute these things. And so the statement is that, but here in this picture, there is no description. So the statement should, is that you can describe with a different looking integrable lattice model. It's a different inhomogeneity where the inhomogeneity is a permuted. And the statement is that uh, all these series should flow to the same integrable quantum field series. So they give a diff different integrable discretization of the same integrable quantum field series. 